Hi everyone, and you're watching Captured by Cage on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I am now on 33 subscribers, so I'm really happy about that. Like, I'm ecstatic that you guys are proper supporting me and actually viewing my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, oh, what are you waiting for? Okay, so before we start talking, I just want to let you guys know that my wisdom tooth is hurting me. So the energy of this video is going to be very calm and collected. And I'll try to articulate myself as much as possible. So obviously, as you can see by the title, we are talking about how to stay safe as a female photographer. Now, before I started photography, I would have never even thought this would have been an issue. I never thought I would have to think about it. It's something you don't think about when you're working anyway, how to stay safe. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about one of my stories um, and then I'll just give you some advice. Um, if there are other photographers watching, because I know like three or four um, photographers are subscribed to my channel, please tell me about your experience. So um, first of all, it's important if you're going to have clients in the beginning stages of starting your photography career, make sure you find a location that you feel comfortable with and it's close to shops and close to other people. I think it's really bad to just have a location in the designated area that's just far away from everything. That's just not smart, especially if you're meeting strangers by yourself. Um, I think it's also very important to create a rapport before shoot day. Like make sure you know your client's a real person. <laughs> not catfishing, make sure you kind of get a vibe because our female intuition actually works. So just make sure you feel very comfortable and confident around these people. Also, if you're meeting them at their location or if it's an event you're going to and you're kind of like, hmm, I'm not really sure. Like if it's a bachelor party and you're like, hmm, there's gonna be loads of guys, make sure you have the address. Make sure you tell your next of kin or the people that you live with in your household. This is very important. Like you're probably thinking this is extra, but it's important because People are strange. People are weird. Like, trust me, dog. Like, trust me, people are strange. And you just want to be safe. I also think self-defense is very important anyway. And I think everyone should know the basics of self-defense. But um, a self-defense class after quarantine will be absolutely amazing. Oh, my God. I should have an event for female... Wait, I but... yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm filming! I should have an event for female photographers and um, hire a self-defense teacher. I'm gonna do that. Um, but yeah, we should definitely get into self-defense. And um, what other advice would I give? Just be confident and don't feel bad to say no. And if you feel disrespected by anybody, I beg you, write it down or record it. Make sure you have an event. So if anything happens, if there's any sexual abuse, sexual harassment, violence, emotional abuse, physical abuse, like make sure you document that down because we can get taken advantage of. As women in general, people don't respect us because we're women. They're like, oh, you should be in front of the camera. Or can you even carry that equipment? There's a lot of misogyny in this industry, just like every other industry. It's also within the photography community as well. Um, and also if a guy makes you feel very uncomfortable, please tell other female photographers about it because like, you don't want other women to work with this guy. Don't feel like you're gonna get blackboard. It's not that deep. But just like let other people know and find female communities that will support you and uplift you. That's very important. Now, let me tell you about my story times that made me think <laughs> a girl needs to stay safe. So I'm gonna tell you guys my story. I'm gonna kind of crumble it into one big story so people that have worked with me won't notice them. <laughs> but I've been, um, I've been a photographer on occasions where guys have tried to like ask me out on dates or move to me and that that's annoying it's not like I don't feel safe but it's very very jarring to take a photograph or be on a photo shoot and they're like oh can I take you on a picnic or oh can I get your number because you're so beautiful and I'm just like oh please like go away like I'm trying to work this is so unattractive like you're shooting your shot at the wrong time and you're not even smooth with it and you're not even good looking, so allow it. <laughs> but that stuff is annoying, right? And as a woman, you're gonna face, people, men are going to try and move to you or check you out or just flirt with you. Other photographers will, like other guys that are photographers will, other videographers will. Clients, if you're doing event photography, there's gonna be that one person, especially if you like to take care of yourself and look good, which I tend to do. 
um, yeah, they'll just try and move to you and it's so uncomfortable. It's just like, go away. Like, that's one thing that's annoying anyway. But I haven't had trouble to the point where I'm like, oh my God, like, get off me or felt uncomfortable. I just felt like, you idiot. That's how I felt. Um, another situation, this is what made me feel extremely uncomfortable and this is what made me think I need to actually um, tell you guys about this story and inform other um, photographers and this is what made me think I need to do a video on how to stay safe as a female photographer. So this was in the beginning stages of photography which was about two years ago and I wasn't charging because I wasn't experienced, I didn't even have a flash, all I had was a camera and my friend told me about this opportunity and this guy wanted someone to shoot a celebrity client so I was like oh my god, um, I had to meet the person in Mayfair hotel so obviously that's already a landmark and it's made for hotel like they got cameras i felt very safe i didn't even think about safety i thought what mayfair are you, are you mean so anyway i went to mayfair and i met this guy right who hired me no bad vibes cool professional telling about the industry telling about what he's done in his life and i'm like okay i can respect that no bad vibes i met other people that were, came from money like this woman had a horse in her backyard and we were just talking so i was like okay like i'm getting excited because i'm in the industry and i'm networking with people that can take my photography to another level even though i'm not really like back then i wasn't even i was a photographer but i didn't have a flash like i wasn't charging anything but ultimately i like being around people that i can learn from so I was like, oh yeah, I'm in the right place. I wasn't meant to be here. So anyway, um, the shoot day went, well, the celebrity client was a bit of a, a mess, basically. And he didn't want to get out of his bed and his wife was arguing with him. And basically his PR company told us that he doesn't want to shoot. It wasn't just a photo shoot. It was basically an interview and then I was going to do that behind the scenes footage and stuff like that. So I was so upset because I was like, oh my God, like if I had a photograph of this particular celebrity I would be popping because at the time they were trending they were also an American couple on a very bait tv show but I don't want to bait it out but they want to be bait tv ratchet tv show they were in London and I was going to do the behind the scenes pictures of them doing an interview that they cancelled because they were just on some cray cray stuff with that being said the guy who hired me I felt no bad vibes we were just a bit disappointed but it's like life happens he then invited me and said oh do you want to go to an event tonight big mistake do you want to go to an event tonight and take pictures and i said yes he said this person's gonna be there that person's gonna be there this person's gonna be there and i was like yes i need to build my portfolio i was cool because it was a long day we ended up going to a cafe and it was like okay just get here like obviously paid for my food because when like obviously you're gonna pay for my food you're not paying me so pay for my food and then this is where the female intuition was just going off 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 red flag red flag so he was like, oh, you're so beautiful. And then I was like, oh, thank you. He was like, oh, you look like someone. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he started telling me and selling me dreams. Like, oh yeah, you know, if you stick to this photography, man, I can make you millions. Like, do you know how much people I know? This, that, and I'm thinking, by this time, yeah, he didn't know my age. So a lot of people assume that I'm like young, like in my early twenties, or I think I've got a 19, but that's reaching, but like early twenties. So I thought, okay, I've had people sell me dreams before. I know exactly what he's doing, so I'm thinking, okay, you're trying to take advantage in a sense where trying to like, just trying to chat rubbish because you're telling me you can make me a millionaire. You're not even a millionaire yourself. Like, trust me, you, like, no, no. Do you know what I mean? You can't even pay me, <laughs> let alone millionaire. Do you know what I mean? Just trying to sell me dreams and get him, get me on his team kind of thing. And I was just like, I was like bobbing my head like, okay, but I could see through you. I'm very good at reading people. I'm excellent at reading people unless I fancy then I can't read you, but I'm good at reading people. So anyway, we went to this event and then I was taking pictures and stuff like that. And then he wanted to see the pictures. So then I showed him on my camera, the screen, right? And then he put his hand on my waist, like ever so slightly. He was like, oh, can I see the pictures? Hand on my waist. Yeah, and I just thought, why would he do that? So obviously I'm feeling uncomfortable naturally, but because of my history and my past, I'm not the type of person to be like, get off me, da 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 So I was kind of like there, uncomfortable, like, why is he touching me? Like, this is so, like, we haven't touched, like, why touch me? Like, you can see the pictures from here. Why do you need to come close to me, invade my personal space and touch me? So I felt uncomfortable. But that wasn't enough for me to be like, okay, I'm leaving. But I just thought, okay, this guy's a bit weird. Then at this event, a lot of his friends and family, no, a lot of his friends were there, right? Old, basically, this guy was in his 40s. A lot of his friends were there. So this woman came up to him, she's like, oh, are you his girlfriend? I had a camera in my hand. So 
so instantly I thought okay this is the type of guy who goes for young girls in general because as a big 40 year old and I look very young why would this random woman oh, to me she's random but why would your friend ask me if I was your girlfriend when you could clearly see that I'm in my 20s I look young so I was thinking maybe he's kind of one of those guys that kind of go for younger girls um so I thought hmm this is a bit strange and then I just felt like he was just giving me weird like I don't want to say pedo vibes because that's just very extreme but he's just giving me weird weird vibes that like he likes me and all that stuff and I just thought you know what it's not that kind of party I'm not that kind of girl and I just thought you know what I put myself in a stupid position and I should speak up and that's another thing that female photographers should do if you feel uncomfortable speak up and don't um don't disrespect yourself by not speaking up like you have boundaries for a reason don't let anyone invade your personal space because it's not okay and the funniest thing is about that after what i did after that i said i'm never working with this guy again and i blocked and deleted him on WhatsApp, right and then i re was reached out to a female photographer i actually reached out to ashley jade if you guys know her she's a photographer she was what photographer slash director i reached out to her and i was like oh i had such a bad experience with this guy um, I heard you're looking for new photographers or mentors, whatever, mentees, and I was like, can I can I hook up with you? Can I learn from you? She was like, yeah, sure. So I was like, pow, that was um, the result. That's how I s solved that problem. I reached out to a woman and she was like, hell yeah, I'll support that. And if you guys know about Ashley Jade in general, she supports women and women in photography and women in videography. So I was very, very happy and had the pleasure of actually meeting her. And I just thought, you know what? That is so important. If you feel disrespected by men, seek out other women because there are a lot of supportive women, including me, that are out here that want to help us progress without being in an uncomfortable environment. Like, who wants to be at work when someone's trying to move to you or get your number or saying you're too pretty to be behind the camera and being condescending and like it's just not nice. And um, you don't want to put yourself in positions that you can't come out of. Do you know what I mean? So um, that's my little story of why it is so important to stay safe in photography and self-defense classes i'm going to work on that i'm this this oh sorry i'm trying to create captured by cage this is going to be an empire yeah you heard it here first pardon the youtube they something in the big brother house we surviving up here <laughs> all right then bye guys thank you so much Mwah.